designers and welcome back to part two of our tutorial series on Photoshop mockups. In part two, we'll be looking at backgrounds and a couple other adjustments, um, things that you can do to dress up your mockups. And also, uh, I want to look at a tech mockup so that we can talk about smart layers. Uh, we covered smart objects. Uh, it's important to know about how smart layers work with adjustments also. So I went ahead and placed my stripes and my name on the lateral side of my box here. And what I have open now is the background layer. And as I was saying, there's a wall color and a floor color in here. And there's also a mask back there on the wall, which we pretty much don't want to disturb. Um, for sure, I want to make the environment colors that are either um, in my brand palette or at least complementary to what I have going on here in my actual packaging. So for the wall in the background, I'm going to dial in this kind of yellowish, limey sort of green color. Um, I want to go a little bit lighter. That's kind of nice. I am also going to trick a graphic onto here. So I want to go a little lighter than what I think I want. Let me go ahead and get the floor color in here. Uh, I'm going to sample. I'm going to sample this blue stripes color. Um, that's pretty nice, actually. I think I want to go a little tone to gray and a bit lighter so everything's not so dark and look at the difference that made right it's kind of amazing all right i'm going to activate this wall color layer what i'm going to do is place embedded um, a graphic i'm actually going to use this orange halftone graphic here above my wall and uh, first move i'm just going to go ahead and get it bigger than my horizon line to my floor. And what you can see already is kind of what this is going to do. Um, because of that overlay layer that how has all the shadowing and texture and our actual horizon line in it, we can see that over this already. But we actually just want this on the wall and not the floor. So if I clip this by right click, create clipping mask in the panel over here, it'll clip it to the layer underneath that is the wall, which is already masked not to interrupt the floor. Now what I can do with the blending mode on this layer, if I put this on soft light or overlay or and burn let's see i don't want to get lost in here too much let's just stick with soft light and let's go ahead and do it twice and that'll bump up those dots in there so now i have a nice little texture on the wall behind there um, i could do something similar with floor if i wanted to but Instead of spending time doing that, uh, we will come back to this one to add the window so that we can actually see the t-shirt through here in part three. Uh, but to finish up part two here, I wanna talk about smart layers. And you will see these a lot in mockups for devices uh, or computers where they're screen mockups, but you also have the device that you're going to be working with in here. So uh, first move on this one for me is to open up the background because I've already gone through here and checked out where all the layers are and marked a few things. Number one, I want to get rid of that big giant X in there. Okay, it's an iPhone X. I get it. Um, this background color does work for me but i really wish that um actually it doesn't i lied um let's go into a nice little nice kind of warm a little bit orangey uh tan color 
And what I'm gonna do, this is a little tricky, I wanna put a horizon in here. So what I'm gonna do is grab a brightness contrast adjustment layer. When these open up <clears throat> in your layers panel, they're gonna open up uh, with a place for a mask. And you can see I'm actually on the mask right now. So I'm gonna make sure that my foreground background colors are set to the default black and white. I'm gonna grab a, not a shape, a gradient. And I'm gonna make sure that I am on foreground to background. The way a mask works um, is that anything white within the mask is gonna reveal uh, whatever, whatever is below, or in our case, whatever this adjustment is. And anything that's black is going to hide the adjustment. So I have a white to black gradient. So what I'm gonna do is darken my adjustment, my brightness here, and that's gonna make this color darker. So the portion that I need that to be showing, I need to go white to black. And I'm just gonna drag a little bit. Um, and you can see, if I, hold on. And you can see, if I show you just my, that's my mask that I put in there. And if I go back, now, if I go to my adjustment and I darken, you can see it's just darkening the white part of that mask. So I can slide this adjustment the littlest bit, and now I have a floor, a wall, and an indicated horizon in here. And if I'm unhappy with the position because of the way this is revealing, I can slide it up just the slightest little bit. So that looks good for a background. Um, these phones, wow. So right here, phone elements. And when you open that up, it's got sections for the mic and the camera. Let me go ahead and zoom in. The body, the buttons, the shadow. What I wanna do here is change the color of the body. And Another thing I want to show you, and I've chosen not to deal with this, but look at all these layers. So this shape, if you look in the upper corner right here, when I toggle this visibility, that's a little colored highlight. And the way that that works is if you look at this function right here, these are smart layers that are adjustments or effects that have been applied to this. We have a gradient overlay and we have an outer glow. This gradient overlay itself, it's controlling the color of that highlight. I wanna change the body color of the phone. So technically I would need to go through here and every one of these layers that's a highlight that has this gradient overlay, I would have to go in and change the gradient to match the color of the body all the way through. Not a battle I'm willing to fight. So I'm just gonna turn them all off. I have them isolated, there's one for each corner. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and turn off is these little nuggets at the side. No one's gonna miss those. My other option is to go through and this gradient overlay in this color, change this so that it matches the color that I'm gonna put on the body um, down here at the very bottom. Again, I'm not willing to fight that battle. I'm just going to turn them off. Okay, here's the shape that is making the overall color for the body in the background. And it's just an object with a color fill on it. And so if I want to go, let's go neon yellow green. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I put that in here, now we can see the color of the body. And then this guy just underneath is the outer portion of the body. I wanna make sure I get that same color in there, but just slightly darker, okay? So that looks like this. Now, additionally, I think it's up here. There's an inner glow 
a shadow, and then those corner pieces in there. And again, uh, for sure I wanna turn off the corners. Um, I can leave on this part and I think that looks acceptable. Um, I think my choice of color here was not optimal because it no longer matches my background color. So instead, I'm gonna dial this to a really hot orange, which will work. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my hex code there. Thank you, Photoshop. Because then all I have to do is double click on the one below, hit paste without touching anything and enter. And now I have a colored body phone in a background. I have a horizon, I have a floor, a wall. I can go ahead and close this body. I can close the phone elements. And here's the put your design stuff screen here. Put your screen here, smart object. I'm gonna double click on the thumbnail. Um, what I can do is turn off everything in here. This is the background color of the screen. I'm gonna put that same orange in here and then just dial it to something reasonable. Let's go. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna put over it, which means I should probably go blue in here. Uh, this is always safe. Let's go with that. And then I can start turning these on and seeing where the actual phone phone information is. There we go. There's the signal, Wi-Fi, and battery, and here's the time. I think it's nice to leave those in your screen mockups because it really sells that it's the real thing. Again, I'm doing file place embedded. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a startup screen for a phone app, for a mobile app. This would be the Luchador shopping order some gear app. I guess, um, and yes, and yes, and yes, and let's go with that super in your face. I like that, and probably better put the name in there if it's a startup screen. Okay, name down here for you, and. there. Actually, the name would probably be up top and there'd be a press to continue right there. From here, all I have to do is save and close and go back. And now I have a color specific to my brand mock-up the way I want, slightly altered. Uh, looks all good in there. All right. Join me back shortly for part three uh, I'm going to come back to the box mock-up, and we're going to cut out a window on this lateral side over here and display a t-shirt through it. See you soon.